Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the first video about JavaScript, JavaScript, and uh, I plan to create a bunch of videos, introduce JavaScript features, and um, it's very fundamental and informative. So some videos, if you are experienced, you will feel it's uh, super easy, then just uh, skip it, okay? And uh, I will try my best to cover all the features in the JavaScript. So let's take a look at the first part of JavaScript, which is introduction, okay? Uh, first one is, uh, what is JavaScript? Uh, at originally or initially, JavaScript was created to make web pages alive. What does it mean? It means when we click some button or mouse hover or mouse out, it will do something on the page, okay, which is our pay our web page is kind of have some animation, okay, alive. And uh, the programs in this language are called uh, scripts. They can be written right in the in a web pages HTML and run automatically as a page loads. You can in the HTML you can have a script tag and in the script tag we can write our JavaScript code and uh, runs automatically as a page loads means when we open our HTML inside the browser okay and when the browser see you have uh, some script scripts okay it, a browser will automatically execute the scripts that is talking about and the scripts are provided and executed as a plain test they don't need to have some special pre uh, preparation or compilation to run that's why it's called a scripts it can whatever you wrote in the html okay it's going it's going to use that to run it's different from java in java when we write some code and using um using uh, in a code in some file called .java, right? It has to compare into something called the dot .class. Then we run using those class files. But uh, JavaScript, you don't need to do this special preparation or compilation, okay? Uh, now, today JavaScript is really, really powerful because JavaScript can be executed in the browser as before. And it can be also run inside the server side, which you can use JavaScript like Node.js Express to build a RESTful application, which uh, connect to a database, uh, access the file systems. Okay, so uh, oh, actually, on any device that have a special program called the JavaScript Engine, which means engine is a tool or it's a program which execute our javascript code okay uh, because in the browser why when we open the html and if html has some javascript code why it can be executed in the browser because in the browser it also have javascript engine so now let's take a little bit more about javascript engine uh, a javascript engine you can think as a software component or a piece of program okay and this piece of program will execute javascript code so whatever you define a variable or call a function or call a methods and this pro this engine this program this software will execute your code the browser like chrome firefox uh, microsoft edge those browser uh, browsers has an embedded engine sometimes called javascript javascript virtual machine you can also think you can just call it has a javascript engine inside the browser uh, every browser nowadays will have a javascript engine but uh, they are different okay so uh engines are different in different uh, uh browsers which is uh, vendors like chrome Chrome is a V8, okay, is a, I think uh, this V8 is uh, initially created in 2008, 
okay and uh, um, previously uh, Microsoft is using uh, Microsoft IE is using Jakarta and nowadays Microsoft the edge also using the V8 and the Mozilla is using spider monkey I think the Safari is also different Safari is using this one Nicho and the squirrel fish okay I don't uh, use in Safari that much okay uh, the one I used the most often is Chrome and the other one is uh, Firefox sometimes okay so JavaScript engine you think the browser has one like uh, in different browser the JavaScript engine names are different but they are doing the similar things okay which is execute our JavaScript code okay uh, next one what can in browser JavaScript do which means that when we open our HTML okay in the browser okay what kind of uh, things this browser can do for our JavaScript code we add the new HTML to the page and it can add new HTML to the page suppose you click up one button you add some new things on the page you can do it like insert another paragraph you can definitely do it and you can change the existing content suppose currently inside your browser you have the paragraph tag in the preferred paragraph tag it's showing the hello and now you want to change the existing content to be word it can be do you can be modify the styles uh, previously the paragraph the color is a uh, uh, red you can you want to change the color to be blue definitely it can react to users action which means when you click some button like uh, uh, suppose you sign up okay and when you click button you want to do some validations it can do run on mouse clicks and pointer movements suppose when you hover on the navigation you want to show the sub links right you can do it okay and key press key press when I so similar things like Google when we're doing the Google search when I type something like a J it will below it will come out some suggestions right you can also do using JavaScript like a key press event right it can also send a request this one you're talking about HTTP request over the network to remote servers this one remote servers is talking about the server side it can be these servers it's talking about another program okay running on some servers it can be Java built server-side application Spring Boot and Node.js Express uh, any servers okay you can use to download and upload the files and uh, those things this one I'm not very familiar okay I will, I'm familiar with this one using Ajax you, the new newest API is called the fetch we will learn that okay fetch API to make a get post delete request any request you want okay it can also get and set cookies ask questions to the visitors show messages basically all the uh, these things you it can kind of like have interactive with the users visit your website make our website alive right it can also remember the data on the client side which means using the local street you can also using cookie suppose I want to remember your preference on certain um, like uh, certain styles you can store in the local storage or your habit or your uh, hobby uh, hobbies okay you can definitely put it on the database you can also store in the local storage here local storage and the cookies they are all talk about inside of the browser and we will show you in the future okay and what kind of things the in browser JavaScript do there are certain things JavaScript cannot do okay uh, this JavaScript cannot do it means the JavaScript code running in the browser cannot do okay which is your JavaScript code and those JavaScript code is running in the browser and the below the things can you do like uh, you want to access some operating system functions like uh, access uh, some file systems okay the JavaScript running in the browser cannot do that and uh, do you have a way yes you have 
we have a server side JavaScript which can have direct access to all its functions. And the client JavaScript will make an HTTP request to request a server side to do something for you. Okay, this one can do. And also different types windows gen generally don't know about each other. This is also if you want to access cookies from another tab, generally it's not allowed for security reasons. The browser doesn't allow you to do that. And the same idea is the same origin policy. If you want to communicate over the net to the server where the page comes from, this one, the same origin policy talking about you can only communicate over the net to the server where the current page came from. This one I'm talking about, suppose currently you are on this website. And now you want to use your JavaScript code, make a request or do something to this server. Uh, example. By default, okay, and you are not allowed to do because the browser will force you to follow same origin policy, which means your JavaScript code running in this website can only make a request to current website. You cannot make a request to another website. Okay, another website means if your IP address, uh, if your um. UI is different, IP address is different, and the port number is different, or the HE protocol is different. Okay. Uh, when we cover, I think, do I cover? Um, if you still don't understand, we will, when we talk about the fetch, we are facing the same issue again. Okay. And I will show you more. And uh, here have some specifications and menus. If you are interested, you can take a look at it. Suppose you want to uh, see the specification of uh, JavaScript. You can take a look at uh, the specification from here. Here have a new term here. What is ECMA? Okay. This is a, it's a story because when we talk about the language, we talk about the JavaScript itself. And for each language, it's going to have a specification. What is specification? Specification is talking about um, what the language should be. Define what the define the language, okay? And uh, uh, how to define uh, variables in JavaScript, okay? And the syntax about JavaScript. This is a specification, basically defines the language itself, okay? That thing is organized by ECMA. This is an organization which manages the specification of a JavaScript language. The reason it don't it cannot using JavaScript this word is because this word is owned the trademark, okay, is owned by Oracle. So you we cannot use in JavaScript this word because of the trademark issue, copyright issue. So when we talk about JavaScript language, the specification, we're using ECMA, okay? Like uh, in the future, you will see some people talk about ES6. It's This ES is talking about ECMA script. And the six is the version of the specification. Okay, like in the ECMAScript ES6, we will have uh, the uh, let and the const those features added. And in ES7, we have async await. And when you see the six and seven, those are the versions of the JavaScript language. But uh, you want to see JavaScript six, JavaScript seven. We were using ECMAScript six and ECMAScript seven, referring the features of the language okay and the e means ecma s means a script ecma script okay and uh, in community or, or the language itself you probably will say javascript okay and if you want to the to see the menus you can go to this link okay sometimes uh, um uh if you want to we, we we cannot cover all the features right and if you need something you can go to this link to see the reference it's a very good uh, tools uh, website okay and uh, if you want to see compatibility tables you can also find it because uh, 
as the language grows, some features are deprecated and uh, some new features are added. And uh, when you run those uh, um, new features in the browser, you want to see which browser supported, which browser not supported, right? You can go to the links below to see compatible, uh, compat compatible uh, stuff, okay? And uh, for entire uh, playlist, I will using the code editor, code editors, which is where you code your JavaScript code. Okay, I was using the ID called uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, I personally like this uh, ID very much. It's very simple and it's very powerful. And uh, uh, WebStorm probably very, very similar to IntelliJ. If I remember correctly, this one you have to uh, pay, right? I don't know. I, I never used this one, okay? The IDs I used, uh, yes, like IntelliJ, I used Visual Studio Code, I used and Eclipse. That's the, oh, NetBeans I also used before, okay? But nowadays, the um, two IDs I use the most, one is Visual Studio Code, the other one is IntelliJ. Sometimes I was using uh, Eclipse, okay? So for this course, I was using Visual Studio Code, okay? Uh, and you can also use in others as you want, like Atom, Notepad, or Plus Plus, or Notepad Vim, okay? You can use any editors as you want. Uh, how to de develop our um, sorry? How to debug our code? Okay, suppose you have some errors, and in the browser you will see a developer tool, and in the console, whenever your JavaScript code has some errors, you will see here. Let me show you inside the, the browser. Okay, discard, and uh, I will open new window and uh, here and uh, for any website for any tab you can right click and have uh, inspect and uh, here you can change uh, the way you want I put it in the below and uh, here in the console this is uh, where you see the JavaScript, JavaScript errors whenever in your JavaScript if you have um, some errors you will see it here suppose uh, Mm, I define function. Uh, uh, log, okay? Like I see here, you will see f is not defined because I'm trying to print f and uh, I didn't define f, so you will see error. Suppose I defined uh, let x equal 0, I referring x, you will see 0 being printed by I referring y, you, you, m. Okay, you will see M is not defined. So when we debug, we are using the console. Okay, how to turn on? Right click, inspect, and you will see the console. And here you will see all the errors. Okay, and uh, don't worry, we will show these tools a lot of times. You will see. So that's it for the first video. Uh, it's uh, kind of like it's very informative and the first video. Okay, so um, that's it. See you guys in our next video. Bye-bye.